Oh, Miss Aurora is at it again. Woo! Tiramisu souffle. Lord of mercy. <laughs> oh, this is third quarter fever, baby, baby. Okay, Miss Aurora is reading all of your emails and we're all talking about it. Why is it? How is it that these major corporations are still reporting increases, increases in profits, increases in sales in the first two quarters despite this global pandemic. All right, is it something that they are doing that the secured entrepreneur is not doing? Do they know something that the secured entrepreneur does not know? Yes and yes, they are doing something that the secured entrepreneur is not doing. They do know something that the secured entrepreneur does not know, but we have a remedy and we're about to apply that remedy in this third quarter. So in today's video, we're gonna get into these 14 companies that are just blowing us away. Miss Aurora, why do these rich people keep getting richer? Well, let's talk about it because Guess what? It's your time. You already know that I am Aurora Day and this is the Secured Entrepreneur Movement. All right, so first I wanna get into this whole video game thing. OM to the G. Oh. Activision Blizzard. Many of you 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 know you're doing the gaming thing, then you know Activision Blizzard has the Call of Duty. They came out with Modern Warfare last September. They reported that Call of Duty Modern Warfare sold more copies than any other Call of Duty title in the first quarter. Sales up 21%, bringing them to, this is first quarter now, bringing them to $1.52 billion, which is up from first quarter last year where they did $1.26 billion. Okay, so where are my secured entrepreneurs who are in the gaming industry? Now, if you cannot create a video game, if you cannot start a video game company, you can surely invest in one because you all know that, that the secured entrepreneurs are on the right side of the cash flow quadrant, okay? We are the business owners and the investors. So, these video games, they're, they're, taking, us, they're taking it away. They, they, they just blew us out of the water in the first quarter, first and second quarter, during a global pandemic. Let me talk about Nintendo. OM to the G, okay? Nintendo... Profits surged 41%. They say that's the best they've done in nine years. <laughs> These sales are the best they've done in nine years. Hello, people. Who are the secured entrepreneurs in the gaming industry? If you don't have a video game company, Hello, start investing in one. That's all Miss Aurora wants to say. Next. Okay, Miss Aurora is going here with the Clorox company. The Clorox company, they are reporting that their sales have increased by 32% because of the wipes and bleaches. They even report a 2% increase in cat litter sales. So, what is that telling the secured entrepreneurs? You already know that I, I talk about how cats and dogs are, are, are beating you out, right? So <laughs> they report an increase, a 2% increase in kitty litter sales, which tells Miss Aurora that maybe the people who were quarantining at home alone started rescuing cats. That, that could be, that could be. And, and my question, because the next company that I, you know, I'm really going to go in on is the Wreck-It. You know, they sell Lysol, okay? And everybody was beating down the doors of the supermarket for this Lysol. Now, Record says that 
the overall first quarter, they saw an increase of 15%. But in March and April, they experienced an increase by 230.5% because of the sales of disinfectants, okay? And they, and they also reported a 10, uh, no, they also reported a 109.1%, yes, 109.1% increase in sales for multi-purpose cleaners, okay? Here's the question that Ms. Aurora has. I'm not gonna get into how many virus cases we have to date, but if you're looking at the increase of sales for Clorox bleaches and, and disinfecting wipes and Lysol, uh, uh, Lysol aerosol sprays, as well as uh, wipes, disinfectants, and, and, and things like that, did they help? For the individuals who contracted the virus, you know, you're asymptomatic or you were put on a ventilator, were you using these products? Did they help? Are they helping? Somebody tear up the comments, okay? <laughs> tear up the comments, secured entrepreneurs, because that is the $50 million question. You went into the supermarket, the shelves were empty. You could not find Lysol. You couldn't find disinfectant wipes. And then when they got them, they were telling you, one per family, you know, be courteous to your neighbors so everybody can get some Lysol. Everybody can get some disinfectant wipes, okay? They probably were saying the same thing about kitty litter. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Next. Can we talk about Beyond Meat? Yes, Beyond Meat. And I want the secured entrepreneurs who actually eat these products made by Beyond Meat to let me know in the comments below. Most of you know that Miss Aurora does not eat any red meat or chicken, okay? I have yet to be tempted to have Beyond Meat. Would I try it? Ooh, if they sent Miss Aurora some, it, it could happen, it could happen. It's plant-based, I don't know. I don't really like food that tastes like rubber. Does it taste like rubber? I don't know. You all know that Miss Aurora likes cookies, cakes, and pies, okay? But Beyond Meat says that their overall retail sales has increased 157%. What happened, people? We couldn't get any vegan or vegetarian restaurants to deliver during the this pandemic, during the self-isolation. I don't know, however, Beyond Meat is up $97.1 million, okay, in the first the first two quarters. And that is up from, I believe, $40.1 million this same time last year. Somebody's going to have to let Miss Aurora know about this Beyond Meat. Now, seeing as we're talking about the food we got to get on to Peloton. Now, you know, Peloton makes like exercise equipment, exercise bikes, treadmills, things of this nature. And they are reporting that they are up 66% in sales, okay? They were up 66% in sales, and they have also seen an increase in their membership app. And they say the increase is 30%. So here's where I'm going, everybody. There were so many of you who were emailing us here at Aurora Day Consulting, and please continue to do that at info at auroradayconsulting.com. And you were asking, first of all, uh, well, there, there were too many questions, but the one I'm going to really point out is, is this one. You wanted to know where all these people are getting this money from. Was the stimulus check that great? Did they get their unemployment that early? What's really going on, okay? Now, clearly, not everybody was having a financial issue. We know that, we know that, okay? And you know you're sitting home, you know you're stressed out, you've got children in the home, people were homeschooling. Yeah, maybe you needed to take a ride on a bike, one that you couldn't take outside. 
and you needed to get on that treadmill, okay? You need to go on a little walk, and maybe you couldn't go on a walk, you're working from home, you need to have a treadmill in the house, it makes sense. So how many of the secured entrepreneur, uh, secured entrepreneurs in this movement are in the fitness business, okay? Did you uh, plug into somebody's fitness app, okay, so that you could start offering at home workouts. You know, what did you do? I want to hear from the secured entrepreneurs because you can't keep saying, why is it that these companies have increased and you've got your business and nothing nothing has been happening and, and you know, especially in the second quarter, you're saying that you didn't really make it. Well, listen to the increase of these particular companies, what their products and services are how did you tap in? How are you going to tap in in the third quarter? Let me get on to the next company because this is a really good one. <laughs> All right, the next two companies, no surprise whatsoever why supermarkets are essential businesses, okay? So Publix reported that their sales in the first three months of the year increased by 10% and they reported earnings of $1 billion. They have even gone so far as to say that the stores that were open less than a year experienced a 14.4% increase in sales, all right? Kroger says that they have seen a surge of 30%. I don't have the numbers on Kroger yet, but they, are, they reported that they had a 30% increase okay in sales in the month of march all right i'm gonna i'm going to stay on that one because that that's interesting that i didn't find any numbers on kroger but here's another one no surprise here okay and i want the secured entrepreneurs to let me know how they feel about this there's a company called 3m yes 3m now they they do like medical supplies they do personal safety um, supplies however they cater to the medical professionals, all right, they, they are reporting an increase of, of sales, all right, increase of sales totaling $8.8 .8 billion, all right, they make gowns, they make masks, okay, and they say that they grew 3%. And I find that to be very interesting because if you if you only grew 3%, but you made $8.8 .8 billion, now we can do the math. What were you making before the 3%? Very interesting. Gowns and masks. Okay, next. <laughs> Overstock and Wayfair. Okay. Overstock reported an increase of sales by 120%, okay, in the first two quarters. So maybe people were buying office furniture. Do they sell litter boxes? Because if you were buying litter, you need a box. I don't know. The secured entrepreneurs are gonna have to tell me. Wayfair reported earnings of $9.9 .9 million. They say they were up 20%. Okay, so if you were only up 20%, let's talk about what you were doing before the 20% because you still made $9.9 .9 million. Okay, last but not least, I have to get on Slack and Zoom. We've all been on Zoom. We have all been on Zoom this whole time. We were on Zoom before the global pandemic. Now we're really using Zoom. I need to talk, I need to inquire about Skype because um, um, Skype is Miss Aurora's favorite. But we we are all on Zoom, and and many of us, if we were not investing in Zoom prior to the pandemic, we bought some stock. Okay, because Zoom is reporting that their stock is up 120% and they say that they've got 300 million meeting participants a day on their platform, okay? Get that. Slack, you know that's video conferencing. And Slack says they've got 9,000 new paid participants, okay? And they say that's an 80% increase for them to have 9,000 new participants 
it's an 80% increase. Okay, I didn't look at any stock prices for Slack, but I, I do find that to be extremely interesting. So, all right, these are the companies that we have all been paying attention to as it relates to the increases. And, and you all asking the questions about why it is all of these increases have happened when you've been watching the news and everything seems to be so bad, 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 okay? But I told you in a previous video, I, I, I called out the list of businesses that are considered essential who have still been in the game this whole time. All right, now it is third quarter. I want to hear from the secured entrepreneurs. How is it that you're tapping into all of these industries, okay? How are you making money with these industries? How are you reinventing yourself, reinventing your business, okay? How are you now adding on to your business so that you can tap into these increases? How are you causing your company to experience the increase, not only in the third quarter, but what is the fourth quarter plan, all right? We're talking about it over in the go from sole proprietor to CEO group in Facebook. Links are below. If you're watching here on YouTube, you can go and click the link, join us over there, and you all know that you can find me, Aurora Day, at auroradayconsulting.com. And until next time, ta-ta.